And I'm back again. Uh, after being sick for a day, I'm feeling much better. And I was back at work uh, the, the day after, so I seem to be only like a 24 hour sickness. Maybe something I ate, I don't know, but I'm glad I'm feeling better now. <clears throat> and uh, for this vlog, I thought I'd talk about talking on the phone, which is something that I don't like to do, even to this day. I mean, when I was younger, a lot younger, uh, I would try to avoid talking on the phone at all costs. I would have my parents talk on the phone for me and have them uh, call uh, whoever I needed to talk to and and then they, they would talk to the person for me so I wouldn't have to and now I'm better at talking on the phone uh, but it's, it's like now now it's, it's like something that I just have to do that just needs to be done so I just do it to get it over with like uh, when I was sick, I, I had to call on to work to let them know that I wasn't going to be able to come in. Uh, and yeah, and so I just had to, I guess, just suck it up and talk to them. And I guess one of the reasons I don't like talking on the phone is that I can't see people. Uh, so I might not get their tone or, 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 uh, like, I, or I might misunderstand what they're saying, but, or, or like, if they stop talking, then I might think that I lost, uh, the, the phone call lost the connection, or they just hung up on me. Can you hear me now? And I, I do text. Uh, I think I do that a lot more than uh, talking to people on the phone. Because uh, I, I think I, I like texting better because it allows me to come up with uh, what I want to say and get it exactly right. Whereas with talking on the phone, I feel like uh, I just need to say something right away, and so so that there's just not silence on the phone, and, and I feel pressured a little bit. Whereas with texting. Uh, there's not really any pressure, like, I can take as much time as I need to text back, because uh, with some people that I text, I've waited seconds for a, a response for, from uh, the person, or I've waited hours or even a day or two to get a re response from them. So there's really no time limit to when you need to send your message. And now with all the emojis there are, uh, it actually does make it a little bit uh, better for me to understand people's tone. I don't use 
that many homologies. There's so many of them, and a lot of them don't even make sense. But with, with some of the like facial emojis, uh, they can help uh, express tone, which is something text messages aren't good at conveying. So yeah, it does help me when there's a smiley, smiley face emoji or a winky face emoji, whatever they're called, uh, uh, in the text message. So, yeah, that, that can help me a lot. And then there's also video calling, uh, which I've actually never done before. Well, I, I, I guess I did do it once uh, for uh, the job that I ended up not doing. I, this is like a year and a half, two years ago, I think, where I was supposed to help out with a video calling in a court case, uh, like a lawsuit case, civil case, and the, there's a witness that was going to testify by video calling, and uh, I, I needed to learn the software, uh, so I, I downloaded it on my computer, and then uh, I got it set up with the person on the other end, and then, and then we uh, kind of video chatted a little bit, and yeah, and for me, yeah, it just it seemed like like it was just talking on the phone, except you can see the other person. So I still felt like. I needed to say something right away and felt that little bit of pressure. And I guess also another reason is that it's just me and the other person and there's not someone else who can like join the conversation. Uh, well, and help me out with the conversation or take over the conversation so I don't have to talk. So yeah, that's pretty much why I don't like using the phone or why I prefer communication where I don't have to hear people's voices. Yeah, yeah, that that's going to be it for this vlog. So until next video, goodbye.